so I dumped it in the bin straight away. I got a swelled up eye, had to go to the doctor, it was very dramatic. Darling, you send me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Zifa, it's nice to meet you. So before we get into the video, this is not my usual setup, and I, it's just not my usual video, but I thought I would try out something cool and something that I haven't actually seen before. Well, I could Google it right now. I'm gonna Google it right now. Okay, so that was a fail. Some people have actually tried this, but... I came up with it, I didn't see their videos before, I haven't watched them, so I'm just going to do like my own type of video and see what it's like. Okay, so in this video, as you can see with the title, I'm ranting too much, but as you can see with the title, I'm going to be doing a face mask a day, every day, for a week. Um, so I have seven face masks picked out, all types of different ones, Lush, L'Oreal, there's... Boots own brand one, there is Primark one, there is Garnier one, you know, whatever. So each day I'm going to be doing a different face mask. I'm just going to be like running through the face masks each day so then each day I don't have to like go in depth. So the first one is Bossing It and this is a hydrating face mask. Um, this is the Primark one and this was actually four euro and I got it on sale for one euro. So it's a sheet mask as you can see and you just leave it on for 15 minutes. I have used I have used face masks like these before, like Primark ones. I found them really good. I love them. And there's a tractor outside. I did I, I found Primark face masks really good. They're so cheap. Even though like for Primark face masks for euro it's not that cheap, but they're so cheap compared to other masks. Um so I have a Primark face mask in there. For my Lush one, this is, I'm going to like completely butcher the name of this, but this is Mask of Mag Magnanu Magnanu I know, I'm not even going to say it, I can't even say it. It smells like mint chocolate ice cream, but I have used a good lot of it, so. Next two masks are L'Oreal ones, and this is the glow mask, I obviously for like brightening and stuff. It's pink, it's almost gone, so hopefully, hopefully I'll use it up. And then I have the black charcoal detox mask. I'll show you how much I have. Literally, we're getting to the end. You can see through the jar of that mask. And this mask, I got on with it, but... As you can see, I got on with it, but as you can see, obviously I liked the brightening one better. Just because I felt like this, I, f I use this on my T-zone normally, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be putting all the mask on all of my face each day. The next one is Boots Own Brand. This is the Tea Tree one, Tea Tree with Witch Hazel. It's a peel-off face mask, so I thought this would be fun to peel off. Normally, I would use this on my T-zone as well, just because I wouldn't really have, like, you know, insecurities around. It's just kind of my nose, my chin, my forehead. Um, the next two face masks are Garnier ones. These are the Garnier Skin Active masks. These are both four euro and I got them for 267 each one. This one is a super hydrating rebalancing mask. So it's for normal to combination skin. And this one is the super hydrating detiring mask. So this would be fun to try. I haven't really tried out any of these before, especially not this one. I've never even... Detiring mask sounds very interesting. These are both face... These are both sheet masks that you leave on for 15 minutes. So I am very excited. So today is day one. This is a super long intro. I've been talking for seven minutes already. So I have seven face masks here. I'm going to be trying one each day. And today I'm going to start off by using my Lush one. Just because I feel like it would be nice. Even though I kind of feel like my skin's dry. I think I would still want to use the Lush one. Just because it smells good. And I'm in the mood for Lush. Okay, I am back with a crazy hun bun. And my face mask is on. I'm not sure if you can see it. But it's like super, super, super. It has like exfoliating little bits in it. So I'm going to leave this on for a few minutes. And... I already feel the tingling of the natural ingredients. <laughs> so 
this is day one over. I look like poop, but it is day two and we're going to be using the Pore Clay Detox Max by L'Oreal and I'm just going to be popping this on my face, leaving it on there, I'm possibly doing an ab workout and then I'm just going to wash it off in the shower because I need to shower real bad. <laughs> So right now my skin is actually really bad, so that's why I'm going to be using this mask today. Um, mainly because I was so stressed out. I had... Sorry, I'm being noisy. I had my first ever driving lesson with my instructor in my mum's car. Normally I use it in his car. That stressed me out. It flared up my skin. It flared up my eczema that I struggled with for years. Um, but it was fine. But that's not fine. I didn't die and I just threw that in my bin and I missed it but the lesson went fine it was fine but I'm still left with my face and my eczema so I'm just trying to clean that up plus it is that time of the month so I also it's also bad because of that so yeah I'm just going to do a little ab workout while this dries in. It's already drying in over here, I feel it. And then I will shower it off in the shower. And then I will get ready for work. Light me up inside like a 4th of July. Whenever you're around, I always seem to smile. And people ask me how. Well, you're the reason why I'm dancing in the mirror. And singing in the shower, shower. could be wrong or maybe it is day f it, I think it's four or five it's one of the two so anyway I have a day off work today I've cleaned the house I've done a few jobs done my washing made my bed stuff like that so it is coming up it's like 7 p.m. and the face mask I'm gonna try out today is the t witch tea tree witch hazel peel off face masks and it says it deep cleanses and tighten it, tightens pores and helps remove blackheads. So this is a Boots All brand, as you can see, Boots right there. Um, I have, I really love this. There's a little bit left. So the face mask is clear and it's like a gel consistency, and you literally just pour it, plop it on your face. Um, you can smell the tea tree like. As soon as you squeeze it out, um, I'm gonna put like a thick layer, especially on like my problem areas, you know, T zone, nose, and stuff. And it basically hardens up, and then you just peel it off, and it stays clear the whole time, which is kind of cool. I kind of wish it was a color just so it would be like more fun when peeling it off. It, when you're peeling it off, it kind of looks like skin, so it's kind of gross. I should have tied up my hair better before putting this on. Um, so yeah, I might get like two more uses out of that and then it'll be all gone. I'm gonna, my dinner is in the oven. I'm cooking pizza tonight because I'm home alone. And I might pop in one of these. These are the white glow dissolving whitening films and they're from Bright Lights. Um, these are just heat whitening strips that you put in and they dissolve in your mouth. So I'm just gonna pop in one of those. And get on with my little bits of work. I have to put away washing as well on my bed. So 
it is 40 minutes later. I'm not sure if you can... Oh. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's kind of like peeling off. So I have my mirror here. And I'm literally peeling off. It looks disgusting. This might be a little bit disturbing to some people. But I think this is very satisfying. If someone else was doing this, I'd probably like faint. But because it's me doing it and I know like, you know, I put it on and stuff. It just feels nice. So I still have like a weird feeling on my face. So I will normally just wash my face and moisturize it. Okay guys, it is day five. Um, I have I took a few days in between since that last thing. I think the peel off face mask was gone off. So I dumped it in the bin straight away. I got a swelled up eye, I had to go to the doctor. It was very dramatic. But um, since then I actually got two new face masks from Lush. I got just to clarify and I got this one here that I'm never gonna be able to pronounce. So I think I'm gonna be using those those two. Um, just because they're new and I'm excited for them. So today is day five and I'm just going to be using the just to clarify. So yeah, another update is that I got my eyebrows done, I got them dyed and next month I'm getting my, them dyed again and my eyelashes dyed. I think they look really nice. I'm still getting used to them because they're pretty dark. But yeah, I'm getting used to them. I like them. So I will be putting this on. I'll check back in when it's on and then I'm going to be like making my bed and stuff. Okay, so my face mask is on. It's really weird because like it's a really weird shade. It kind of looks like my skin, but kind of doesn't. But yeah, I'm very nice. It smells a little bit weird, but I'm getting over the fact that it smells weird. So it is now day six. Today I'm going to be using my other Lush uh, face mask. This is 100 Methylins. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Please do not come for me. This is a jelly face mask and it's like a tea tree kind of one. I thought um, I would try this one out today also because it's new. Um, so that's pretty much it. It's a jelly face mask. Yesterday, I'm gonna leave you down here. I don't have a tripod on right now. Yesterday it was also, I have tried this before by the way, but yesterday that face mask was also a jelly face mask. So it looks, and this smells absolutely amazing, but like, it is a jelly and then you mush it up to a paste. Um, it does take in, like a lot of getting used to. I'm gonna take about this much and literally just mush it in the palm of my hand until it becomes like a paste so I can put it on my face. I'm not sure if you can see that. But if you just keep mushing it up, it kind of comes into like a paste texture and then you put it on your face. Um, I've really been loving these Lush face masks. I feel like they do a big difference in my face, even though I've only tried them out a few times. But but my face definitely feels a lot better after using the Lush ones than the other ones, like, you know, L'Oreal and stuff. Um, because there's, like, a different type of products in them and stuff, and they're a lot healthier for your skin and organic and stuff. Um, and I feel like you can really tell the difference. Okay, so this is the face mask on. It, it it feels and smells amazing. I'm so happy I bought the Lush face mask. I really feel like these are my all-time favorite face masks. They just do wonders for my skin and they smell amazing. So this is it for day five, six. I just said it in the last clip and I forget what day. So there's just one more day left, which I'm very excited for. And I have no idea which mask I will use. Probably a sheet one. I'm not sure. That is pretty much all for day six. I'm just going to let this go in. Have a relaxing night. And chill. Hi guys. So it is now day seven. So that is the last day of the face mask a day for a week challenge. Uh, my face is kind of looking a little bit rough right now. It's a little bit dry. Um, today I'm going to be using, I'm going to be testing out the Garnier detouring mask. I have been excited all week for this. I don't really like sheet masks though. Oops, the lighting. 
I don't really like sheet masks though, but I am excited to try this one out. And then I'm going to be finishing off with my Lush moisturizer and then the Tarte under eye treatment. This is like the um, vitamin C kind of treatment. I'm not sure. But I'm going to be chilling on my bed, scrolling on my phone with the mask on. And then I'm going to finish off with those when like the liquid like soaks in. And then I'm going to get started with my day. These masks are always huge for my face. If you can see there, I've like folded it up a bit. But it's still gigantic for my face. I put it under my chin as well. <laughs> I'm just gonna take some time to scroll on my phone for a while. It is time to take off the mask. <laughs> my face, my lips feel so dry compared to it. But I'm just gonna bin that and I'm gonna let this like dewiness kind of like sit into my face and dry up before putting on my moisturizer. This feels really really good. It's like like wet. <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it. I am going to back in a few minutes to put on some moisturizer. So I've moisturized my face, put on some lip gloss and the under eye cream and I'm feeling fresh. I really enjoyed that face mask. I don't think I look any less tired or anything. I find I look the same. My skin is a little bit brighter I think but that might be just because of the moisturizer and stuff. And I have the under eye cream under my eyes as well. It's just all soaking in. Um, I do feel a lot fresher though but I don't know. That could be from anything. But I'm going to get my day started. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed this past week. Um, I did take a little break in between just because I had to go to the doctor and it was very dramatic, as I said. But that face mask is definitely in the bin. It is long gone. I'm never going to use it again. It was probably gone off. It probably wasn't the face mask because I did love it in the past. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon with a brand new video. Uh -huh.